Climate scientists are out with a new warning and a sweeping challenge for our governments and for us. In a United Nations report just out this morning, the experts say the time is rapidly running out to prevent a global climate disaster. And right now, they're calling for urgent, drastic action from Canada, other G20 nations and developing countries. The bottom line here is that this is doable. It is a massive lift. Had we done it 10 years ago, it would have been easier. But we still have the time. And that the time is now. And countries really need to step up because if it's not starting from 2020, seeing some serious action plus some ambitious plan, there's just no way we're going to make it. Now, this number is what they are warning about 3.2 percent. The experts report says that right now the Earth's temperature will rise by 3.2 degrees by the end of the century and that's a disaster that would leave some parts of the planet unlivable. That would see the Earth stricken by catastrophic drought and extreme weather events like wildfires and wipe out entire ecosystems. Our senior science reporter is Nicole Martellaro here at CBC News and she is with me now. Uh, online you find her report on the new report. What's the big headline? What is the big takeaway for you in this, Nicole? Well, the, the, right now, the world is set to warm at the current pace by 3.2 degrees Celsius. And that is obviously far, far to, away from our target of 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius that uh, is set out in the Paris Agreement. And as well, they're saying that drastic action has to take place now if we want to reach that 1.5 degree Celsius, uh, to limit it to 1.5 degrees Celsius of, uh, of warming. 7.6 percent it has to be that's a big number emissions have to drop by that number annually between 2020 and 2030 and that's something that's really important and this is the message that they're saying governments need to start to take action now. and they're also saying that it wouldn't have had to be that much if governments had acted sooner exactly yes and they said if we had started this in 2010 that it would have been the percentage would have been incremental 0.2 percent to, to 2.7 percent come back to this big number this 3.2 degrees uh, that's the big warning that global temperature at a rising average of 3.2 degrees would lead to pretty catastrophic circumstances what kind of a picture does this report paint of that well you know it, it, people always worry you know, we hear a lot of these climate reports but one expert I talked to, he said, it's terrifying. Uh, another expert said, you know what? This is a world like we're not going to see, that, that we've never seen before. There will be mass migration unlike anything we've ever seen. People will lose the ability to grow crops. We will see uh, more severe weather events. And, and this is something, I mean, the IPCC did the report of uh, limiting global warming to 1.5 percent, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, degrees Celsius, as opposed to 2 degrees Celsius. And they found a big difference just between 0.5 degrees. Now, this is 3.2. This is a massive, massive number. So there's a lot of doom in this <laughs> yeah. report. It's a big warning. But interestingly, it is a challenge. And as is often the case, there is a positive thread in all of this. We heard from the, the officials involved saying, you know, we have the means scientifically, technologically to do something about that. So what are they saying in terms of courses of action for governments now? Yeah, the UN always gives us, you know, hope and says that we do have that technology. We have renewables, we have solar energy, we have wind energy. And this is what uh, John Christensen, the uh, one of the representatives from the United Nations Environment Program, had to say about that. To call them easy wins on the renewable expansion. I mean, wind and solar have in the last few years become so cheap that they're fully competitive with fossil fuels in almost all situations. It would require some system adjustments. It may also need some storage and some other things. But essentially, it's something which is technically possible, and right now it's cost competitive. So we have the means, uh, mm -hmm. but it just means, just, it, it means major societal and economic transformations. But, it, and it's going to come with a cost. We're talking trillions of dollars annually. You, and, and the thing is, though, they said it's worth it and it needs to be done now. And there's a big meeting internationally coming up, That's right? That's right, that we have in Madrid. Again, bring this yeah. new material to bear and discuss Madrid, mm -hmm. yeah. December. Yes. December 2nd. More to come on this issue as the world grapples with uh, climate change. Nicole, thank you for your writing on this today. Our senior science reporter, Nicole Mortellaro.